question three, part G, is to find the area of the shape ABCD. Now we don't actually know where B is yet, but we are told that point B is such that um, ABCD, so if we, were, if we were to connect those four points, would create a rhombus. Now I just want to recap on what a rhombus is. A rhombus means is a shape that has four equal side lengths. So think of it as a squashed square. Um, and the formula for the area of a rhombus is the two diagonal lengths. So take this left hand diagram, this is a diagonal and this is a diagonal, diagonal sorry. You multiply the two diagonal lengths and divide by two. Now let's have a look at our diagram here on the left. We have, I'm just going to draw some dotted lines between these points. Looking at it, point B would live somewhere out here. I'm not too sure exactly where it would be. And we're not asked for the coordinates, we just need to find the area. But it's going to live somewhere out here to form this rhombus shape. Now, in prior questions, in part C, we found that the distance from A to C, so one of the diagonals, uh, let's, let's create the formula here, area is equal to, uh, it'll be A, C, times B, D on 2, where A, C, and, uh, sorry, that should be B, D. Apologies if anyone's confused there. Where A, C, and B, D are diagonals of this rhombus A, B, C, D. And we found in part C that the distance between A to C is square root 80. And also we were told just prior to question F that the distance between MD is square root 45 on 2. Now if this distance here is square root 45 on 2, and this is a rhombus, that will mean that the whole distance between B and D, um, therefore BD will just be twice this. So we square root 45 on 2 multiplied by 2, which ends up just being square root 45. Okay, so that, that's good. We have our two diagonal lengths now. We can just sub those in. So AC equals square root 80 multiplied by BD, which is square root 45 on 2. And we can use our calculator from there. So let's bring up this, create a fraction square root 80 multiplied by square root 45 all divided by 2 and that is equal to, oh it's a nice neat number, 30 and now area would usually be some sort of unit squared um, centimeter squared, meter squared etc however there are no units on our diagram here. This is on an xy axis, so our area is just going to be, um, in fact, we could probably call it units squared, the area. And this is, this is area of A, B, C, D. That is the answer to part G, question three.